what's happening everyone welcome back to the workshop now i'm just busy sharpening some of my planes so i said why not do a video and take you guys through the process i'll show you exactly how i sharpen my plane blades now there's a million ways to do this as i say there's more than one way to skin a calf so there's plenty of honing guides on the market plenty of sharpening systems from stones to diamond plates to sandpaper there is no right way as long as you get a sharp blade and it works for you that's the right way i'm going to show you my way so Normally I would have a secondary bevel on my plane blades and it's just a case of touching them up. It takes two minutes, but what I'll do in this video is I'll show you how I sharpen my um, plane blades from start to finish. And uh, I'll assume that this is a plane blade that I've never sharpened before. I'll put a primary bevel on it, then I'll put a secondary bevel on it. We'll flatten the back of it and we'll get taking some shavings. So let's do it. Okay, a quick look at what we're gonna be using. Like I say, I'm gonna sharpen my Stanley Blaley number four um, smoothing plane made in England. And I'm gonna use my Scary Sharp sharpening system, which I got from Workshop Heaven. It's just a piece of float glass with 3M micro finishing film. It has 100 micron, 40 micron, 30 micron, 15 micron, six micron, and then it's down to something like four micron and like two micron or something really ridiculous and considering the width of a human blood cell is only five micron this stuff gets really fine so there's no you need to use a leather strop or anything like that a bit of honing fluid and the veritas um, honing guide system so nice and simple let's get our plane apart and uh, just give it a clean off give everything a nice clean off you can buy plain specific brushes but uh, just get yourself a nice cheap paintbrush it does the job for cleaning out your just getting the sawdust and stuff off your plane you don't have to spend a fortune that costs pennies and it's perfect for the job so lever cap chip breaker plane iron that's the main parts of our plane i'm not going to get into how to set up a plane i'll do that in a later video this is literally just how i'm sharpening my plane blades so first thing i'm going to do is flatten the back of the plane blade i want to flatten from edge to edge behind the cutting edge i want to make sure that is exactly nice and flat that's the first thing i'm going to do to prepare our blade and i'm going to use a little steel ruler trick now you can just take masking tape and put a strip of masking tape across your stone across your diamond plate whatever you're using it is literally just to tilt that plane blade up slightly so that you're not trying to flatten the entire back of the plane blade you only want to flatten the, and work the area right behind the cutting edge so let's get on it so i'm going to start with the 100 micron and just work my way on down just get some honing fluid on this this stuff removes material pretty quick and um, so it's actually a great system i've already done a review on all these things so i'm not going to get into that it's literally just me sharpening my plane blade and how i do it so I'm just going to set my plane blade on top of my ruler and I'm just going to work it back and forward. Just want to keep pressure in the middle of the plane blade and on the two edges. Just using my three fingers and I'm just going to flatten the back of that blade. Just checking as we go. And I'll show you an up close of this now in a second. So once I'm edge to edge, that's good enough. I don't have to flatten the whole back of this. I just need to prepare edge to edge and I'll show you that now. Okay, there is the back of our plane blade now and you can see how that polished edge, edge to edge. And you can see it's not even. That's because the back of the plane blade is not perfectly flat. So I'm removing more material, material from this side than I am from this side. But that doesn't matter. We're not trying to flatten this entire area. What we're trying to flatten is the place behind our cutting edge. And we're flat edge to edge now. You can see we have a nice polished edge, edge to edge. That's exactly what we're after. Now we're going to turn our attention to the blade itself and set our primary bevel. Okay, let's crack on and sharpen the blade part now. And I'm going to be using the Veritas honing guide. And um, I've already done a couple of reviews on this, so I'm not going to get into this too much. Basically, it's just a honing guide. Um, it's very easy to clamp your plane blades in it and to set... Um, your angles so a 25 degree angle is what we're going to start off with so nice and simple standard plane blade angle is 25 degrees and that's what i'm going to set my primary bevel at and this has an adjustment knob i'll show you in a second that i can add a couple of degrees to it when i want to sharpen my secondary bevel 
Okay, so just very quickly, because I'm sure some of you might be curious as to how this thing works. So this is my fence. I set it to the width of my plane blade. I set the angle to 25 degrees. That matches the yellow number to the yellow number here. This is my jig. Pop in your plane blade, slide it up against the side of your fence. That ensures that your plane blade is square in your jig. That goes against your stop, and that um, ensures that my angle is exactly 25 degrees. And I just pull off the fence like that. And now we're ready to start sharpening. So let's get sharpening our blade. Okay, now I'm gonna work my primary bevel. And once I'm all ready to my edge, I feel a bore all the way across the back of it. Now I'm gonna put a secondary bevel on it. I'll show you that in a minute. It's not necessary to put a secondary bevel on it. I like it, it's just every time you come to sharpen, you're only sharpening the secondary bevel and not the entire primary bevel. I'll show you that now in a second. Well, I'm just gonna work this all the way flat and this 100 micron stuff removes the material in a hurry so it won't take too long. Oh I should say I've also switched to the shotgun mic. My lapel mic has finally packed in so hopefully the audio is acceptable. Checking as we go. Just there now, almost feel the bore the whole way across the back. Okay, we're good. So I have my primary bevel set now. I have a bore all the way across the back, so I'm all the way out to my edge. I'm just gonna work this down to the grid. I'm not gonna polish my primary bevel because I'm putting a secondary bevel on it. And I'll show you that now in a second. Okay, fine. Okay, this is what our blade looks like at the minute. So you can see I have nice and straight, nice and flat all the way across, and I have a primary grind now, or my primary bevel is all the way out to my edge. I had a slight bar on the back, which I've just cleaned up, and now I'm gonna add a slight secondary bevel to this. So on this Veritas honing guide, it's just a case of me pulling out this wheel and flipping it to six o'clock. That's added an extra couple of degrees now, and that's probably put it up to about 28 to 30 degrees for my secondary bevel. So I'll work that now and I'll show you the contrast. Okay, let's stick on our secondary bevel now. I'm gonna use all backstrokes for this. I'm not gonna go near the 100 micron because I don't need to remove that much material. It's only the bare edge now we're gonna put on this. So I'm gonna be using all backstrokes. Just working my way down through it and checking as I go. Good enough. That's perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna put a slight camber in my blade. I'm gonna put it on the secondary bevel. There's a cambered roller in this, so I can put a slight camber in it. It's just to roll off the corners. Just a little touch, just so I'm not leaving track marks as I'm planing. So I'm just gonna work both sides slightly. A couple of strokes, work back to the center, work the other side, and work back to the center. center. Just following the camber of the roller that's in this honing guide. That should be plenty. Okay, just do the same thing down, all the way down through the grids. Perfect, I'll put a polished edge on this and then you guys will be able to see the contrast now between the primary and the secondary bevel. This is the really fine micron stuff, so this will give me a nice polished edge. So there's no need to strop after you use this system, which is nice. And like I say, there's many, many ways to sharpen a plain blade. This is just a system I use and this is just my way of doing it. So take it for what it's worth, but uh, it works for me. But once it works, that's the main thing. stuff you look at that now okay here is our blade now hopefully this is coming out on camera but you can see I've just a polished edge it's just a mil a couple of mil in from our primary bevel there's a secondary bevel and I've just rolled it off in the corner so you can see it's just rolled off on either side now 
like I say, the reason I put a secondary bevel in it is when I go to sharpen this plane blade again, I'm not sharpening the entire bevel. I'm just sharpening that two millimeter bevel on the front. So it takes literally 20, 30 seconds for me to get my edge back on on this system. So hopefully you guys can see that now. And once again, there is the back of our blade. It's edge to edge flat. So we're good to go. Okay, let's get our blade back in our plane. So get it out of the jig. Nice and carefully, we don't want to damage that nice new edge. We're going to put in our chip breaker. So when I put on my chip breaker, I put it onto the side, slide it back, turn it around, and just slide it up to our edge. Again, don't drag your chip breaker over your edge, your newly formed sharpened blade that would uh, suck. So just keep it about two millimeters back from the edge, nice and square, nice and straight across with your edge. And just give it a little tighten down. And drop it back in our plane then. Keep your blade plane at a 45 degree angle so that your frog is nice and straight to you. And just drop it in there. Don't drop. When I say drop, I don't mean literally drop it in. Place it in so you don't hit your edge. And then we'll get our lever cap back on. Snap that guy in place. He doesn't want to be too tight, just enough to keep everything nice and stiff. And then we can line up our plane blade. Just check how we're coming out. Actually, I'll show you this on camera. Okay, hopefully you can see that. I have it up against a white background now. It's just a little tip. If your eyesight is starting to go and you find it hard to spot your plane blade just poking through, put it against the white background and the contrast should help you. So if I advance the plane blade, you guys should begin to see it poke out there. Now you can see I'm coming out on this side more than I am on this side. So you just move your adjustment lever towards the side that it's sticking out on and just get everything to even up just like that. Now I'm looking through the camera, so hopefully that is actually even. We should be good. So we can test our plane now. Okay, let's give this a try out. The proof is in the pudding, as they say. Start off with a bit of pine. A bit of two by four, four by two. Back it off a small bit. You can see just how fine those shavings are. They're actually see-through. They're so fine. Whoop. I don't know, maybe a tenth of a millimeter, less than a thousandth of an inch. They are extremely silky smooth fine shavings, which is what we want. Get the camera to focus on one of those. There you go. Nice, silky, see through, extremely fine shavings. So that's exactly what we're after, guys. A nice, razor sharp blade. Rough bit of ash, stick that in. Let's smooth this up. wafer, wispy tin shavings. So that's a nice little bit of ash and that is silky, silky smooth. That is smoother than you would ever get it with a bit of sandpaper. Hi right guys, there we go. Just a quick video on how I sharpen my plane blades. And like I say, no matter what system you use, if you stick to those couple of principles, you should be good. So flatten the back of your blade, make sure it's flat from edge to edge. Whether you use a secondary bevel or not, that is completely up to you. I just like one because it makes resharpening that much faster. Roll off your corner slightly so that you don't leave track marks when you're planing. And that's how I do it. Use the Veritas honing guide system with the Scary Sharp sharpening system. A bit of flow glass with 3M tape on it. That's as simple as that. So hopefully that has been useful to you. That's just what I'm doing in the shop today, passing a bit of time, putting an edge on all my plane blades. So I said I'd share the process with you guys. So yeah, that's it. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.